On today's video, I'm doing this affordable drugstore look that you see me wearing right here. Um, this is an affordable look and today's kind of casual for me, so I didn't do the whole wig thing. But anyway, I hope you like my video. If you do, please give me a thumbs up. I'm not going to hold you long. We are going to hop right into the video. All right, so I'm coming to you already with my brows done for obvious reasons. And as you can see, I brought my concealer down on my lids. I'm just going to go in real quick and add a little more. I'm using my e.l.f. Camo Concealer in the shade chestnut deep chestnut and everything that i do use will be listed below in the description box since i said i already put some on i'm just going to take a dab on each eyelid and blend that out with my elf blending brush i think that's what this is called this is what the brush looks like We're going to keep the look simple for the eye. I am all about the simple eye look. The Essence Spice Up Your Life palette. And that's what these colors look like. All right, y'all. So I'm coming back. I'm coming in my, it'll be my right, your left eye. Done. It's a really quick look. Y'all know I'm all about the simple. We are going to just do this eye. So the first color I'm going to use is this color. It's called Coco Loco. And that is going to be kind of my transition color. So I'm just going to take that color and pat it on my outer V. This color at first wasn't giving me the color payoff I used, so I wanted. So, and then I'm just going to drag it in my crease. Drag it up a little bit. Now, <clears throat> I'm going into the shade Cinnamon Roll. Right there. Cinnamon Roll. I'm basically going to do the exact same thing. But I'm just going to place it there, right here. And put it in here. Put it in my crease. So as you can see, it did deepen my crease area a little bit. For the lid, because it is fall and I am wearing green today, we are going to do um, this shade on the lid, Pumpkin Spice. I just want to get close. See it? Oh, that's a, this color is so pretty. It's like it's not pink. It's more of a peachy color. So for this, I am going to wet my brush, grab some of that, and I'm going to pat it on my lid. See how pretty this is so pretty and i'm not doing it all the way i'm basically doing three quarters of my lid with it and then i'm just going to go back into coco loco and like blend that out this is just me i i definitely feel like like red shades show up better on my face so i am using this shade here muted wine and that is going to like, I'm going to blend it out up top here. And I don't know what it does, but to me, it, it just makes me happy. It brings a little bit of um, red tone into the look. And again, I just really like that on my, for my looks. So I'm just blending it up at the top, very top here, close to my brows. My, right here on the end where it's just like a stark cut off i grab coco loco and i'll just blend those two shades together is i'm going to um line my lid to line it i'm going to use the wet and wild h2o i am just doing a thin line so i'm going to add that and i'll be right back And y'all, I lined my lid because yes, today we're putting on lashes. Y'all know how I am about lashes. I suck at them, but I feel confident today. So today, yes, we're going to put lashes on. So I'm gonna line my other lid. 
Okay, so I have my wing liner on. As you see, I made a mistake up here. I'm just waiting for it to dry so I can go in and correct it. Four lashes. These are Kiss Lashes in Shy. I've worn them before, which is why I don't have the packaging for them. They're really pretty, they're thin. I am using um, the Duo Brush On Adhesive. So I'm just putting on, putting extra at the tips and in the inner part. I'm going to now pop on my lashes. Going back to the old school of old schools, I'm using the Maybelline um, New York, the Maybelline New York Baby Skin Primer. Mm. So I'm just rubbing this in. But because of mask season, I do, I call it mask season. I do a little extra step. This, this setting spray legit does nothing for me, nothing. So continuous setting mist. So what I do is I take this and I spray it on my face prior to makeup application. And um, it definitely helps better that way than setting my makeup with it because setting my makeup with it legit does nothing. So I'm just spraying that on my skin and I'm going to use this beauty sponge. This beauty sponge, I am going to link it below. It came in like an egg crate. I bought it through Amazon. Yeah, it came in like an egg crate with a lot of them and they have like two different shapes. This shape, where you can see this side is like flat and it comes with a pointy one. So these feel just like beauty blenders but I'm just going to press that setting spray into my skin. Today we are using the Maybelline Fit Me. This is a good foundation, especially like if you are trying to save coin. And I am in the color 360, and this is the dewy and smooth one, just so you know. And I'm just going to use my finger and put this on my skin and I'm just going to use that blender beauty blender and blend this in and as you can see I'm tapping I'm not dragging oh why did I put earrings on you all I forgot how good this is like I haven't used it in so long I can't say I'm not so much this okay this blender is great, but look at all the product. Like it's picking up a lot of the product, which I am not necessarily a fan of. So I, you know what? Like you you don't use say certain foundations in a while and then when you use them you be like yo why haven't I been using you like you are bomb so for concealer I'm using the L'Oreal infallible full wear and this shade I'm using it the shade 415 honey to highlight under my eyes real quick right here my cupid's bow and my chin now i have this beauty blender but i also have my um elf sponge here and i'm going to use that to blend out my concealer so i'm going to start on this side since this side dried out faster than this side
that coverage is amazing when you let it when you let it um sit i'm going to cream contour today and i'm using the elf um 16 hour camo concealer and the shade i'm using to cream contour is rich ebony so i'm just going to do a few dots here a few a little bit here So, I'm actually going to use a brush to blend this out. This is a Real Techniques brush. This is what it looks like. I don't think it has it. This is the RT200. Now I'm using the excess on the brush just to drag and do my jawline. And the excess concealer on the sponge to go right in here. Right there. To give you that snatched look and i'm actually using my foundation i mean the sponge i use to do foundation to like blend here to make sure there's no harsh lines because you want it to be even and beautiful and y'all know what i'm saying the only things that is are not affordable in my video, that is my Laura Mercier translucent powder in the shade Honey. The Fit Me translucent powder is good. Like I've had it, I ran out and I ne I didn't repurchase it. But if you have that, then that'll work just as fine. I'm using it to set all the places that I concealed. And what I did this time, because I didn't bring my translucent powder in deep, I'm just going to use this to like set that concealer that I put here. So I'm using my ABF bronzer, but damn, what is it? Black Opal. The Black Opal is three in a palette setting contour. I'm going to list it below, link it below, list it below i didn't bring it so unfortunately i have to use my abf to set my contour to set my whole face the ruby kisses fit mineral finishing powder which is what i use all the time it's and remember i did down my neck so i'm just i am going to go underneath my eyes with that color Coco Loco. For my inner corner, I am going to go curry in a hurry. Because I don't want it bright, bright, but I do want a little something, something. I'm just going to bronze my nose. I'm using this brush. It's like an angled brush. And I'm going to start it here and then run it down my nose. If you want the button nose, 
you're going to go right here with it. My um, Urban Decay 24 hour glide on pencil to tight line. And I'm going to drag it partly Okay, and I'm just going to add a little bit of mascara on my lower lashes. So I'm going to use my NYX um, Tinted Brown Mascara in the shade Espresso I think. powders, like dull them out a little bit. So I go back in with that. Of course, I'm using a... Shoot. I meant to bring my Elf Spray. Elf, Smay, Elf Spray is a great setting spray. I did not bring it. So I am using my Urban Decay All Nighter, but if I would have bought it, it works just as good, just so you know. So the good old faithful Maybelline Master Chrome. So yeah, we're just going to highlight with that. My good old faithful, my Mac Chestnut. I'm gonna line my lips. The next butter gloss and bit of honey. It's a pretty color. It's like natural. In here, a little bit of creme brulee. I like this lip combo. Oh, I'm doing something a little different today. Hold on, I'll be right back, right back. Today I am not putting a wig on. And as you see, I have, like I have my do-rag on. This is what I sleep in. I have molded my edges back already and they're like in place. Nothing major, just a, they're all going back. What I'm wearing is just my regular hair bun. I got this from the beauty supply store. That's what it looks like. And that's what I'm wearing. So if you guys don't know how to tie this, your girl's about to show you. So I put this on, make sure it's kind of even on both sides. Tie a knot, take this, see this extra, pull it, and then tie it tight again, the two sides. And it's like you gotta pull the middle part and then pull these two. You see that middle part there? I wrap it around one of the sides and then I loop them in a twist. and wrap this around and when i'm done wrapping it i tuck it in the middle part here so, all right guys this is my finished look like i hope you enjoy the tutorial if you do please give me a thumbs up comment below and subscribe until next time stay safe